unajua kuna siku nilifungiwa nyumba Mombasa hii na nilikuwa nimepeana duka yangu na nilijitolea nilipeana nguo vile walivyona nilipeana hapo nilichukua nguo mimi nikapeana vile maduka nasema upeana kitu kizuri nilichukua nguo zangu nikapeana nikachukua duka yangu nikapeana all of a sudden kazi kaisha maduka nasema upeana kitu kizuri nilichukua nguo zangu nikapeana nikachukua duka yangu nikapeana all of a sudden kazi kaisha nikafirisika nikawa sina hata sina hata mtu sina hata mshirika sina hata rafiki yangu ambaye angenipa hata elfu moja nyumba yangu ikafungwa nikamwambia huyo mtu si unipe tu hizo wiki mbili akatoka kufika hapo akanitupia fungu akasema na utoke nyumba yangu sitaki mapasta sometimes it is not easy to reach the destiny it is not easy to reach the destiny sometimes you have to encourage yourself sometimes you have to encourage yourself because nobody there to understand you ni ngumu sana ni ngumu pale tulaenda ni ngumu kufika Mwezi mmoja ikuisha nikaanza kupata breakthrough Zile nyumba nilikaza watu nilikaa nyumba tisa ya kumi ni yangu Hizi habari ni ngumu sana kueleweka sababu kuna wale muku kwa mikono ya shetani kwa sababu ya milango ilifunguka na kuna wale muku kwa majaribu na bwana atafungua mlango watu hao walikuwa pale wanateseka Yesu yuko hapo amelala wanaangaika kuchota maji ndipo anasema mtu aje hapo amwambie rabi rabi umwambie tu jina lako Sijui ni nani naongeresha lakini nasikia nasikia kuna watu mimi naongeresha Kuna mtu anaweza kuwa na kamba Kuna mtu anaweza kuwa amewaza mawazo ya kujitoa moyo Relax Relax Nikapata baiskeri nikawa nakaduka kule Bobolulu ilikuwa inanyesha siku tatu Sasa wakati huo niko na kanisa pale Kikoani Primary School Mikono yangu ilikuwa kama miguu kikusalimia ni kama mguu Nilikuwa na baiskeli Nikaenda kwa duka moja ya mshirika wangu moja Nikamuomba aniweke baiskeli Kasema ni sawa weka hapo lakini tukiogea na ushuhuda hapo akasema lakini bwana yangu atauliza hivi basi akasema mimi naona kama mzee hata furahia nikachukua hiyo ngoridi nimefunika na karatasi ina keri ya kubwa ya kushona na nyuma na battery ya gari na, na speaker na tu speaker tuwili hapa nikachukua karatasi nikatoboa shingo na nikatoboa mkono na ile ingine nikafunga kichwa nikachukua baiskeli yangu kufika hapo nyali bridge iko siku nitawapeleka hapo kufika hapo nyali bridge mvua ilikuwa imenyesha watu wa matatu walinisumbua kupitia 
Tisha gari karibu na mimi. Kufika hapo karibu bridge. Karibu tu kama mita tatu hivi. Nikasikia ni kama roho yangu inakatika. Nikainua macho hapo. Nikasema oi Mungu. Hata lini Bwana utanisahau? Sauti kaniambia nitakubariki. Sijui kutoka hapo kufika nyumbani niliyeta namna gani. Nilikuta mama sasa kwa mlango akanisaidia kuigiza gari. Hatukuwa na mtoto. Alikuwa amejaribu kupata miba tatu zimetoka. Na miaka yangu ilikuwa inaendelea. Sijui ninaongea na nani. Lakini kuna mtu Mungu amenituma kwake. Nije nikwambie relax. Sijui ni nani huyu. Jehovah anasema relax. Inasema hivi. Kuna mtu hapa nyumba hii. Sijui ni nani huyu. Sijui ni nani huyu. Mungu amenituma nije nikwambie. Some of the things you are going through is not the devil. This by God's grace now you are here. Inamisha uso wako. Bwana anasema hivi. Nimetumwa kwako mama. Oh God. Jesus. Oh my father. Oh mama. Unaona huyo mama watoto wake wameenda waine. Hawa watoto wako huko nao. Relax and praise the Lord. Oh God. Yes my father. Nani alijua siku ya leo? Nani alijua? Nani alijua? Nani alijua? Utafika siku ya leo. Watu walisema utamaliza mwaka jana. Watu walisema utamaliza. Lakini Bwana anajua Josephu. Anajua Josephu. Anajua wale mnachapa lami, wale mnatembea na miguu, wale mnatembea na pikipiki. Wewe endelea tu na usiwe na hofu. Maana hapo unaenda sasa. Hapo unaenda pale mwisho pale. Pale mwisho. Oh God. Sikujua kwamba ile kifungo yangu ilikuwa ya mwisho. Ilikuwa ya mwisho. Kuna mtu anafika mwisho sasa. Kuna mtu anafika mwisho. Anafika mwisho sasa. Anafika mwisho. Anafika mwisho. Baba yangu ameniambia akanipatia message ile nikwambie kwamba some of the things my viewers will ever you are. Oh God, you are the Lord and God. Mtu amwambie tu baba yangu nimechoka. Kuna mama alikuja akaniambia kumbuka alikuwa analia machozi tu. Kaniambia nikubukie bwana yangu kwa sababu this is not my husband. Akaniambia bwana huyu si bwana yangu. Huyu alali hii nyumba. Anakuja na tukubadilisha kuona anaenda. Daudi alikuwa na watu hawa trusted friend. Trusted friend ni watu ambao watakusaidia kweni wa need sometimes pastors tuko na shida sababu wakati tuko in need no one to stand with us lakini nyinyi mkiwa na shida tunamka usiku tunawaombea tunalipa gharama lakini wakati pastor wako na need very few people can help pastor very few people can stand with the pastor when the attack comes wote wanaondokaga kanisa inaisha pastor alabaki tu hivi alikuwa ameuza gari yake akanunua vyombo sasa watu wameondoka kanisa imebaki sasa inabidi pastor aende akatafute kazi kuna mmoja aliandikwa kazi ya watchman Watchman wa usiku 
Hata nikamuliza kwani kulie daji kaigua dhiri ate. Nini ilie dhirea? Nini ilie dhirea? Kwa nini vita imekushida hivi? Basi mtu huyu wa muobe mungu wa mpatie trusted friends. Mbawa naweza wakasi mama na wewe hata wakati umekosea wewe mwenyewe. Yes, huyu mzee anaweza kuwa amekosea. Huyu mwanamke hakuwa anajua bwana yake si huyu. Kwa hivyo alikuwa ananililia machozi akiniambia. Huyu si ye bwana yangu. Ni obe bwana yako arudi sababu huyu si yeye. Kuna mtu anaweza akagalia huyu mume wake kweli anaenda huyu. Akamsaidia, akamfanyia ibada. Abishai they were a trusted friend of David. Daudi akawaita akawaambia, "Sasa Daudi ameenda, maana Abu Solomon amekwishapanga kugeuza serikali." Daudi akaenda mpaka kule amewekelea mikono juu na nguo za kutaruka. Na watu walikuwa wanaenda naye wakiomboleza. Sasa Daudi akamwambia, "Abishai, oh God, I thank you. Abishai, you are trusted to me." Enda kule kwa Absalom mujifanye kama mna umeungana naye. Kisha uletee report. Abishai wakaenda. Inasema hivi maandiko. Samuel wa pili sasa tumetoka 15. 17:22. Adio felo alipoona mipango yake haikufaulu. God Kwa maombi na kasi hivyo Daudi aliomba Mungu afanye advice ya Theophero iwe nonsense. Sasa Theophero alipoona kumechacha na haikufaulu akachukua kamba akajinyonga. Naye Absalom akaenda hivi akapiga hizo zikapitia punda zikapitia kwa miti akabaki amekwama juu ya miti ninaongea na mtu ambaye umefika mwisho come and make a prayer to god come and make a prayer to god mwambie tu baba hii yote ni ukweli but i have nothing to do with myself nguvu zilikuwa nazo zimeisha baba yangu ni na ukubuka huyu mama nyumba yake haijaingia mtu miaka yote hiyo naona vile amefikisika msaidie sometimes ni ngumu sana watu kuelewa but me baba yetu akusaidie umelewe kuna watu wa wokovu lakini bado wako na changamoto kali sana Mali kwa tatu inasema hivi 35 Watu hawa si kwamba wajaokoka Maana wengi wanaweza kukutukana uliaguka That's why wewe umeshindwa na vita uliaguka Walikuwa na boti kwa boti moja na Yesu walikuwa hapo Kule na mtu amwambie Jehovah Rima imenizidi sasa nisaidie 